Altamont was a very, very, uh, it was very exciting to go to. The beginning of it was very interesting. It, it was in, uh, at Altamont, it was cold. When we drove there, um, we had this funny car, and people recognized me at the time, which is interesting. And we drove out to the top of this hill, and to get to the stage, we had to drive down through thousands of people to get to where we were parked. And people, uh, the motorcycle guys, uh, once they knew who I was, they moved the, the crowd aside to, and we drove this vehicle down this hill through this entire crowd. I had my hand out the window because it was hot. It was afternoonish, And <laughs> um, people would drop drugs into my hand. Well, I was not going to take strange drugs. You know, that's the rule. Don't do that. And I'd leave the hand out there, and the next person would take that and put something else in there. So it was, that was interesting. And the concert started out very well. And we were in a, uh, a flatbed truck sort of behind the stage. So we had a high view of what was going on from sort of a high part behind the stage. So we saw all of the f things that happened. And I personally know, I personally feel that there would have been no violence or less violence if the Rolling Stones had started their concert on time. But they, but by the time they decided to, you know, walk on the stage, people were crazy. They'd been waiting and waiting. The Jefferson Airplane had played, and there was some sort of violence with them. And uh, then another hour, a long time passed, very, very long time, before the uh, Rolling Stones came on stage. And by the time they came on stage, people were ma were mad with being high and stupid and crazy and cold and, <coughs> excuse me, and crowded. <coughs> and um, that was it. So the concert started out on a really nice high note and ended out, ended on a really low note. And that was kind of the end of rock and roll, really. The kind of rock and roll where we had access to the the musicians and could talk to them. And then they became just too fearful and famous, or maybe they weren't fearful, just too famous. I don't know, but to me that was the end of it, the end of, end of 1969.